my voice cracked. I'm here to read for you again. Hello, Say Light Love Tarot, or Hillary for short. Welcome or welcome back. Happy Thoughtful Thursday on the channel. We're gonna see who's thinking about you and what they're thinking exactly. I'm gonna start off with an overview of the dynamic between you and the person thinking about you, kind of get a backstory. Then I will get what they are thinking, their energy towards you, your energy towards them, any actions that they might take that you need to be aware of, and advice for you moving forward. As always, you don't need my approval or anything, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I might get some dynamics. I don't know. If you hear different messages from this, like if you get different information from the cards that come out, take that information over what I'm saying because you can get intuitive downloads from watching other people's readings too. So always listen to your own intuition first. Anyways, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm excited to do today's reading. I did see everyone's comment on the uh, on the troll post and thank you all for what you said. You're so kind. I'm not really bothered by this person. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like clapping back. And what's really funny is that as I was saging before recording, my sage bundle was sparking so much, like popping off, like popping embers. And then I'm having like this throat chakra problem. So maybe this is related to the energy in your reading, we'll see. Not, not my post, but just like, I don't know, some, something trying to pop off, someone wanting to pop off, like, they're fiery. Anyways, we'll find out. Spirit, my higher self, my darling's higher self, thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct. I ask for the most clear and concise messages, information, feelings, and sensations to come through for the betterment of my darling and for the highest good of everyone involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I have not responded because I didn't have time to respond yet. Uh, I'm, I'm running behind today. Courtship. This wanted to come out and I was told to keep it. Courtship. So, someone dating someone? At the bottom, before I get more cards, there's child. So, man. I'm getting a few different stories for that. Uh, you could be, this could be someone that you were courting, you know, as a young adult, as a teenager possibly this could be someone that you have a child with or there could be children involved somehow you know okay spirit will you please give me some cards here for the dynamic of my darling and the person who is thinking about them I'll show me sudden wealth oh goodness courtship sudden wealth 777 seven, seven on that Occupation official person. Pathway. Despair. Community on bottom. I'm sort of getting the energy of a um, work, workplace relationship, workplace romance possibly. Um, I know that's really specific and that's not for everyone, but that's definitely a vibe going on here. Um, oh, man. I'm almost getting the energy of like dating someone at work and then like someone getting a promotion or some type of pay increase, maybe even a, yeah, like a promotion, occupation, official person, sudden wealth, that would like signify some sort of promotion, then pathway and despair. And I'm almost getting this feeling of like someone wondering if they only got this position or something because they are in a relationship with this person or, you know. It, even if this is not someone that you are dating in the workplace, it could be someone that you know is having a workplace relationship, okay? This is really bizarre community. It's like it's like a group of people around you. And it's almost like you were meant to get some sort of position. You were meant to get something. Or you feel like you were. Like you feel like that was your goal was to get something. And it wasn't... It's like it was handed to someone else and you're like, why was that handed to them? You know? That's a specific story, okay? <laughs> I know that's not for everyone. Let me try to generalize this. I'm also getting that if this is not like a workplace situation, it's not someone outside of you. This could be someone, um, someone who had to move as you were dating them, someone who had to move away for a job. And it's like one of you had to stay back. And so, like, there's this feeling of despair 
like literally not hiring is here. So it's like someone's someone had to move to make better money or something. I know that's two different stories. I'm gonna figure out, let's just jump into what they're thinking, okay? And then I'll figure it out. That's a couple different things. I guess it's gonna start happening as I get <laughs> more viewers on here is, you know, collective readings I can get all over the place. I kind of feel like I need to, okay. I'm gonna clarify real quick. Real quick, I'm not gonna go very deep into this. Can you please narrow this down for me, Spirit? Help me out. Help me to understand so I can narrow this down for the people watching. Clarify this situation, please. Egotistical energy. There's potential in the situation. Okay, that's a lot. Those two, okay. This is the right course of action, trusting energy. A person is lying about something. Lack of control. Supportive energy. At the bottom, desperate energy. Self-reflection is required to overcome ob obstacles. Forgiveness is needed. I want to see what's split here. King of Wands, Ten of Cups. Very much boss type energy. Boss. Can be egotistical, the King of Wands. I don't know if that's your energy or their energy. Anyways, I'm feeling like there is a lack of trust in this situation regardless. Again, there was like this feeling of like, am I only getting this or did that only happen because like I'm in a relationship with this person because we're together or did they only get that because they are in a relationship together? Like a kind of egotistical distrust for something But the thing is, I feel like whatever's happening here, there's more support than you realize. Community support. I just feel like someone is struggling with an ego battle because they feel like something is out of their control, lack of control, and that just automatically makes them distrust and like suspect lying here. But it's like this situation has potential, had potential for sudden wealth, great opportunity, occupation, like a, a, the right pathway, the right course of action. Happiness and the lovers and the two of cups and the four of wands under here guys. Are you kidding me? Ten of cups the lovers two of cups four of wands the wheel of fortune fated encounter King of wands Six of cups the empress ace of swords. Okay, y'all there's a distrust because of like the potential here Am I only getting this because of XYZ? I'm not sure of, I'm like there's an ego battle here. That's preventing some sort of trust in a connection regardless of where this is happening at. Okay, Spirit, will you please tell me what this person is thinking about my darling? What are they thinking about? My darling, they're dynamic. What's going on here? What are they thinking? Six of Wands reversed. Is it this other person that's feeling like Something was shorted from them. Knight of Swords. Impulsive cutting communication. Because of an ego problem. Of feeling like something didn't work out. Something wasn't successful. And now someone's pissed off. Someone's pissed off wanting to pop off. Fires. The embers popping off earlier. Three of Wands strength. It's taking everything that they have to hold back. Maybe, okay, if they're not thinking... Maybe they're thinking of this about you. Ten of Pentacles. Whew. The Hierophant. Holy moly. Eight of Wands. Ace of Swords. Justice. Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands. Two of Cups. Okay, this person thinks that there was like some sort of, like something should have been 
better, right? They're thinking about there should have been some sort of victory, like things were going on in the right way. Things were going as planned. They were taking the right steps. They were taking the right, like, course of action, the correct course of action. They were doing what they needed to do, but it fell through for some reason. It's like this ego thing. Six of Wands reversed is not only like upright would be, you know, a victory over battle with the Five of Wands. Reverse would be like a sore loser type energy, like things not working out. I'm not sure if that's their energy or your energy. Three of Wands. Strength, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. Someone is feeling like things didn't work out. It's like, it's like someone was taking the right actions, okay? But they were doing it without heart, with that Knight of Swords and King of Swords very detached from their heart. And because like they were not walking with their heart, it's like they had a goal in mind, Three of Wands. Three of Wands is planning for the future, but it's also taking the necessary steps. 11-11 on the clock, y'all. It's like they were waiting for something to feel right before diving all in. Does that make any sense? It's like, how is someone doing some of the right things, but then there's this waiting and this holding back and resisting, making something actually tangible. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, making something tangible. The Pentacles are tangible energy solid, stable, earth energy. And they feel like they, they're thinking about the fact that like this opportunity passed by so fast, the eight of wands, it's like there should have been more communication, more open honesty, ace of swords about plans for the future, about making something official, official person, justice card there, Libra. There's the heart of the issue, queen of cups. It's like they were trying to do things logically and they like were cut off from the heart. Even though they like see the potential here, it's like they weren't navigating from the heart. It's like someone was had the right intentions but didn't do something right here. They've got earth energy here. They've got fire energy here. You got air energy. The only energy missing from this whole thing is water. They were doing everything by the book. Everything, <laughs> everything by the book. It's like they, they know what they want. There's this passion for what they want. Like they have this intuitive drive, this intuitive pulling. And it's like they're actually thinking long-term stability, but then there's no heart involved. Where's the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? And now someone's feeling like, Sore loser. This didn't work out. Why didn't this work out? Okay. <laughs> Let me get what their energy is. Okay. They're thinking about that this didn't work out. I don't understand. Like, there, it's almost a pity party energy with that six of wands reversed. It's like someone playing victim mode because they feel like they did everything right, but they're like not realizing that they were disconnected from their heart. Spirit, will you please give me the energy of this person who's thinking about my darling? What is their energy towards my darling? Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Eight of Swords. The Hermit. Seven of Wands. Oh my goodness. Four of Cups. Finally, some freaking emotions here. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Man, this person feels like they lost out. Temperance on bottom. Empress. The Hierophant. Death. Do you see all this underneath the deck? Oh, I gotta hurry. My phone's gonna die. Okay. Okay, their energy is like watching from a distance. Like, but it's this pity party type energy. Like, oh... I had, I could have had that. Like, why didn't it work out? What was me? I don't know how to move forward. I feel stuck in the circumstance. I feel like I just have to watch from afar. Like, I can't actually do anything with this. 
I feel like I can't do anything with this and I feel like I'm blocked off for some reason. And now I wonder if like, I'm wondering if contentment is even possible because I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been abandoned here. I feel like things have fallen through and it's like something that I really needed. Something I really needed. I wanna figure out how to be moderate. Here's the thing, this person is not moderate though because they have like one, one cup, one card of cups. One card of cups. Honey, for moderation, you gotta have some heart in it. You gotta have some heart in it. Sagittarius energy. I do see this person having really great, like, they meant well, they mean well, they desire well, right? It's like this person's long-term plan didn't, didn't pan out the way that they want. They're trying to change the way that they're seeing things though. Temperance, the Empress, Hierophant and Death. They're trying to tra they're trying to change the way that they're thinking about something. They could be having a spiritual transformation. And they might be learning how to uh, transmute energy specifically. Those two cards are like the master transmuters of the tarot. Temperance and the Empress. They're trying to get out of this lack mindset. So that would mean like they have to open their heart, right? Because it's almost like, it's almost like they do this, not just with you. It's almost like they have these visions of what they desire. You know, these plans, they see great potential and they kind of show, this is feeling very related to Tuesday's reading. I'm just going to put that out there. Like I felt this energy of like, I keep hearing Tuesday. I've heard it like four times now and I just didn't want to put that out there. But I'm hearing it. It's like the same energy from Tuesday, the same person, kind of the same situation. This person, it's like they have good intentions and they kind of show up, but they don't really pour their heart into it. And so then it's like, well, there's no emotional availability here. So how are you supposed to actually make the tangible thing happen? Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Waiting for the love. Waiting for the connection. Okay, let me get your energy towards this person. Man, I really hope my phone doesn't die today. We gotta get clear, concise messages today, Hillary. I know you like being very detailed, but let's just get on with it, okay? Not too deep, not too deep. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what is my darling's energy towards this person, please? My throat chakra went weird right there. Eight of Wands reversed. <laughs> throat chakra for sure eight of wands is, can be rapid communication you know eight of wands reverse would be like a refusal an adamant refusal to communicate a refusal of because <laughs> you're not happy with the, what they had to offer four of cups came out and landed on this hierophant eight of swords you're just like I don't feel like you're ever going to change I don't think you're ever going to change. I don't think you're ever going to feel love. I don't think you're ever going to like, I don't feel like there's ever going to be this emotional exchange that is needed. I feel like I'm not going to get enough. So I don't really want to talk to you about it. Okay. I don't really want to talk to you about it because I just don't believe that you can change. Or I don't believe you have changed. Knight of Pentacles death. It's like, a refusal to wait around forever. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Wait, 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 wait. Seven of cups. The only emotional, the only emotional anything that I got out of our situation, person, is confusion and dissatisfaction four of cups and seven of cups all you did was confuse me you're right things did kind of look like they were going somewhere but then they never did and i'm sitting here with my heart open wanting to give it to you queen of cups on bottom wanting to move past everything that we've been through wanting to get to some sort of solid land right and it's just like the plans you just feel like every time you make a plan you had to hold back from investing in it Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. For some reason, you have to hold back. Three of Pentacles. You 
he ain't happy with this situation, but I feel just sort of like a defeated, like, I don't even feel like a ton of grief about it at this point. I just feel like you're like, I'm just done. Ever gotten to that point? I mean, if this is you, you've gotten to this point where you're just like, I have no energy in me to be like overly sad, to be overly disappointed. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. It doesn't serve me. Okay. Um, I don't want to wait around for things that are not coming into fruition. I don't want to talk about it. I don't believe that you've changed. I am done feeling. I'm done with the only emotional exchange that we have is dissatisfaction and confusion. I'm done feeling that. Totally get it. And I respect you for that. Respect you for that. Okay. Um, let's see. What actions they might take? What deck am I going to use for that? This one? Okay. Spirit, what actions is this person who's thinking of my darling? What actions do we maybe need to be aware of that they might take? Uh, specifically with this person. <laughs> I say it every time, but this is just the energy. People sit in the energy and don't do anything with it all the time. So this person may not actually do this. This is just the energy that they're feeling compelled to do. So far, this person seems like not really a big doer. So I, I don't know. I don't know that they'll actually do it. But just in case, I'll find out, okay? All right, what actions might this person take that we maybe need to be aware of and prepared for? Actions from this person towards my darling. The high priestess reversed. Ooh, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Devil. Five of Cups. Oh, they got double fives now. Five of Pentacles, triple fives. Oh my God. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords on bottom, Ten of Swords, Jesus, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Okay. I feel like this person wants to break the silence. I feel like they want to communicate that like they're not happy with the way things ended up. They feel like the, they feel like somehow they feel like they put in a lot of effort and it didn't turn out the way that they wanted with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, they are not happy with what happened. All right. They don't want to give up on it because again, they put in a lot of effort in their mind. Okay. This is what they are wanting to communicate. They're wanting to open up about this and they like can't stop thinking about it because of like the tangible effort that they put in. I'm getting like the materialism of the devil here. Right. It could also be just like endless thoughts, like endless worry. Right. Obviously this person, five of cups, five of pentacles, three of swords. This person is not in good energy. They feel like they really got freaking, uh, they feel like they really lost something that was owed to them. Let me put it that way. They lost something that was owed to them because of the amount of work that they put in. Is this that position thing? I feel like I was supposed to get this position. Did I only... This is... <laughs> Here's the deal. I don't feel like this person yet has realized that they're disconnected from their heart. I don't feel like that. I feel like they are the story they tell themselves about why this ended seven of swords, 10 of swords. The, to the story that they're telling themselves is not one that's true, but it's one that's just hardening their heart even more with that king of swords. They really feel like they put in a lot of effort. Eight of pentacles, two of cups. They feel like you're just being stubborn for no reason. Seven of Wands, death. Man, they want to talk about it. They feel like they're owed something. Like, they really want to communicate that. They feel like they're owed something. Okay. I'd be careful. I mean, devil energy with all of this, like, desperate energy. Devil, five of cups, five of pentacles, three of swords, desperate energy. This person feels desperate. 
Yeah, they're just hanging back right now, but it's like they want to stop doing that with the High Priestess Reverse. They want to come forward and talk about it. I don't know that they will, or if they're just going to sit here and stew in all of this low vibe and victim mindset energy. Either way, this person's going through it. Like, they feel like they lost out on something that they needed. Okay, Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles right next to each other with Three of Swords and the Devil. Like, this person feels slighted majorly. Or they don't like that they made you feel slighted. I'm not sure. Let's get your advice and close this out. Okay, Spirit, will you please give me some advice here for my darling and the situation with this person? This is like high tension. I'm feeling like high tension. Advice for my darling in the situation you want me to see that. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, the Emperor. What? <laughs> Four of Wands. Y'all. High Priestess. Oh my gosh. Knight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. The world. Page of Cups, the devil, the justice, the sun, the empress. Goodness gracious, the tower. Oh. Oh. Okay. Advice for you. <clears throat> if you are not aware, of what you need to feel happy, you should take the time to really sit down and figure that out, okay? Page of Pentacles is a learning opportunity. Ten of Cups, the Emperor. Take control over what, uh, over figuring out what you need, your needs, what makes you emotionally fulfilled, what type of way, what's your love language, what sort of behaviors, what sort of actions, what sort of interactions make you feel connected. And then, if this person comes forward, communicate that, okay? If, Communicate it. Be clear about what you want. You're the upper power of your reality. The emperor, you have the upper hand here. You're in control over your life. So if you're upset with this person, ask yourself if you communicated what you needed. Okay? Even if you think that you hinted at it, hints are not good enough. You need to be explicit with your needs. Right? Right? Four of Wands, High Priestess, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I see an opportunity here to make something really positive happen. Ten of Cups, the Emperor, Four of Wands. But it feels like there's like a, a silent treatment type thing going on with the High Priestess, right? And it's almost like if there is communication, it's quick, short, cutting to the point. It's not really helping anything progress. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. And it's like the way that the way that we're handling situations, whether it be relate relationships, friendships, work situations, needs to evolve. We need to close out the way that we're handling things because it's almost like feeling like again, this sort of expectation that like people should just know because I put out these hints or I just expect people to know. And like, I understand it, but I also want you to actually feel some level of satisfaction. And wouldn't you feel better knowing that you actually like s communicated your needs? Like you stood up for yourself first. You advocated for yourself first and your needs first. Like you're the first person who should do that so that others can then follow suit. You know, you teach people how to treat you. And I'm not saying that like you deserve whatever happened. I just feel like this person had good intentions. Again, they're cut off from the heart, so that is a problem. But I, I feel like they had good intentions. I mean, but I guess the road to hell is paved with good intentions, ain't it? I, I don't know. I don't know. 
page of cups devil this is like needing some sort of emotional maturity here right needing to evolve emotional immaturity throat chakra justice the sun the empress the tower big changes need to happen regardless of this person like this is something this advice should go forward regardless of whether or not you apply it with this person or not this job this friendship like this should be something that you apply permanently moving forward with anyone and anything so you've got to evolve and be willing to you know open up to express your needs let your inner child let that part of you that needs to communicate its needs let it have a voice right instead of feeling stuck with whatever other people deal to you devil justice feeling stuck with whatever how other people decide to interact with you it's like you deserve to stand up for yourself sun the empress the tower change things yeah Advocate for yourself. Okay, um, I'm going to close this out with... I guess I'll do romance angels. I don't know that it's romantic or not. This is a real bizarre... This is a real bizarre feeling. Uh, because there's a such lack of like emotions here. That's why. This is why. I'm like, I can't even tell if this is romantic other than the fact that there was courting. Courting out here. But I mean, we got ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Like... We got the Hierophant and High Priestess out here. And like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Spirit, will you please give me some Romance Angel cards here for my darling in the situation? Where is the love? People killing, people dying. New love, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yep, playfulness. I feel like I need to go through again. Okay. Okay. Healing family issues. Mm. Honeymoon. Express your love. There's so much closed-offness here. There's so much emotional co closed-offness. And it's like, if you want to experience a new type of love that you haven't experienced before that you're just hoping to come in, by, you know, happenstance, by people just somehow knowing, then it's like, we need to change that. You need to advocate for yourself. You need to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If you want people to open up emotionally to you and to connect, you have to lead that way first in your life, okay? Take that first step. Open yourself up. Express your needs. Love yourself enough to say what you need, okay? And then be willing to add in some more playfulness again instead of being so serious, why so serious healing family issues i feel like the closed offness from both of both sides or whatever is family issues right maybe you do have a family together there was children earlier i'm not sure but i, I feel like there could be a reconnection here there could be or you have new love on the way i'm not sure express your love career and finances true love calling in your soulmate if you want to feel the way that you desire to feel, you got to do it first, okay? You got to open up first. You do. I'm, I'm, I get that sometimes we want other people to take the first step, and I can respect that, but like, I'm also all about people taking initiative in their own life to show up in the way that they desire to be. That's part of manifesting, is showing up as the person who has the type of relationship that you want. Right? The type of connection that you desire. You have to show up that way first. You have to be that person. You have to be that version of yourself. And then the world will conform to you. Right? Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this was helpful. This was very much... This energy is a lot. Unemotional, but a lot. Unemotional, but a lot. I'm looking at two king of swords dead in the face right now. A lot of energy, but I'm emotional. I hope, yeah, I hope, I don't know. Tomorrow's Freaky Friday. I don't know if I'm going to cosplay because I've worn all my costumes. Maybe I'll just wear one that I've already worn, but tomorrow's Freaky Friday. We're going to figure out how to let your freak flag fly, how to communicate your needs, how to be exactly authentically you without any uh, qualms, without any holding back, you know. 
I'm gonna want it. I'm gonna empower you on advocating for yourself and stepping into your true self and being who you need to be. Hope to see you then. If not, that's totally fine. Have a great rest of your weekend, a wonderful week or a fantastic life. I love you so much. Take care. And ta-ta. I gotta press low battery and then...